this video might be longer than a minute. Uh, people wanted me to elaborate on the unalive that happens in National Treasure 2, Book of Secrets. While there is evidence in the movie that this happened, that it, and it's also canon to the movie, I wouldn't know about it if I hadn't read the National Treasure 2, Book of Secrets novelization. I got it for a few dollars off of thrift books. It is different from the movie. They changed some scenes, some for better, some for worse. Um, I enjoyed it. If you enjoy the National Treasure movies, I do recommend reading this book. It all starts at the very good beginning of the movie, you know, as it should. Uh, and we've got this Dr. Nichols as, like, kind of supervising the Gates as they're just telling their little Civil War family story. And it is Dr. Nichols, again, who places the missing Booth diary page on in the diary that incriminates the Gates family. Later on, it's revealed that Dr. Nichols has been working with the Wilkerson brothers the entire time, um, but he wants out. In the book, he wants out because he has discovered something that Mitch has already done leading into this whole thing, and now he doesn't want to be part of it. Um, but it's very clear in the book that Mitch is not going to let him go because he knows too much. Fast forward to after the scene where the president's been ca kidnapped and Agent Sadusky is on a crime scene and discovers that the president's been kidnapped. Note that the paint at Dr. Nichols' house matches the paint at the crime scene. In the book, it is revealed that he is at Dr. Nichols' house and is investigating the murder of Dr. Nichols. Uh, they do note that um, he had a connection with the Gates' little scandal that's going on right now. And Dr. Nichols had Masonic connections, which is relevant in the books, along with Sadusky's Masonic um, influence, I suppose. But they don't touch on in the movie, like, at all. So yeah, that's the murder that happens in the National Treasure movie that you don't even know happens in the National Treasure movie, even though, like, the before and after are there. If you like National Treasure, I do recommend reading this book. It's the only novelization. They don't have a novelization for the first movie for some reason, and that drives me crazy, but uh, it adds a lot. I think it fixes a lot of things. There, you know, stuff is different, some for better, some for worse, but, like, it's enjoyable overall, and I do recommend it. And if you really like National Treasure, you might be interested in my Nacho Treasure Discord server where we just talk about National Treasure and I post any updates on the TV series and movie that there's in the talks right now and just memes and headcanons and little stuff that I pick out of the movies because I've, I watch them and I'm always finding new stuff, new clues and historical stuff. It's really fun.